Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. All right, as noted at the start of this show, it was announced on Raw that beginning October 7th, so one month from now, Raw moves back to two hours for the first time in over a decade. It will be a two-hour show through the end of the year, and it then they will move to Netflix. And It's a three-hour show when they move back to Netflix. It is three hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it confirmed a few minutes ago. The, um, the basic damn it. The basic the situation... The dream is over. Yeah. The basic situation is, is that... Um, it, it was a USA Network call, not a WWE call, and um, I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, it are it it. I don't say artificially because that's a bad word, but it boosts. It will boost the ratings of the show because they won't have that third hour that drags down the average. Um, but I'm not sure exactly why USA made the call because obviously. Well, maybe the they had a plan for the uh, 10 o'clock hour, and then because originally it was just Raw was done, and then they yes. signed the Netflix, Netflix deal and found out, well, shit, we got three months, we're going to be off four the months, air. September, four months, November. and so yeah. they made a deal with USA, and maybe USA was like, we already have something to 10, yeah, but we can do uh, 8 to 10. It, it could be. It was USA Network made the call. Or maybe they uh, didn't want to pay for three hours. No, it didn't have to do that because they weren't paying for hardly anything for this anyway. Um Basically, WWE had the, um, the 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 basic choice WWE had when um, they had that gap, you know, because because the contract with USA, the contract itself with USA actually ended at the end of the month of September. So this is still under the old this this these these next couple of weeks are still under the old contract. October seventh will be the first show under the new three month contract, which is a twenty five million dollar deal for three months, which is way below market value and so for those three month for that three month period um wwe had the choice of peacock or usa essentially those are the only i don't say those are the only places that wanted them um i don't know but those were the two that that was like the the choice and peacock was not willing to pay extra um they would have they would have taken it and taken the three hours um and i guess usa was only going to take the two hours um, because maybe they had something planned or maybe they don't want to, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it'd be starting next month. I mean, like right now they've got six hours a week of wrestling, which is actually great for them because wrestling is, is so much higher rated than anything else they've got. But, um, you know, they didn't, they didn't, you know, it wasn't in the plans. I mean, the plans were to drop raw at the end of this month. And so whatever it was, this was the way it was all worked out that, uh, you know they were going to take it for two hours, and uh, you know that's that's the basic deal. But yeah, yeah, they're going back to three. What ratings we had this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we knew it would be bad, but that collision number—that collision number was unbelievable. I mean, it's like I knew it would be bad, but it was a um, hundred and. Uh, 157,000 viewers and an 0.04. Like, I thought I thought it would be like an 0.07. But, I mean, they were going against... I mean, they went head-to-head -head with SmackDown. And they just got... You know, that was the key. But they were going against the NFL, the U.S. Open, uh, Caitlin Clark WNBA game. I mean, like, you know, Raw got... I mean, um, SmackDown got killed, too. You know, it was, it was the lowest... It was the lowest SmackDown in that entire... The final SmackDown on Fox ended up being the lowest SmackDown ever on Fox, except for one week, which was the one of the weeks where they didn't actually run a show. They just put um, the best of, you know, one of those best of shows. So for an actual live SmackDown show, that was the lowest ever, which whatever, you know. I mean, I, I didn't expect that to be that low either. I mean, I knew it would be down. Um, and I think the SmackDown number being down was largely due to the NF. No, they were... The NFL killed everything, but um, it was just a lot of competition. The, um, but yeah, the um, collision. I mean, I said that like this was a bad idea to put collision on um, from eight to ten on Friday night. It would have been much better to have gone to somehow figure something out to go six to eight on Saturday and use it as the pregame show. You know, like as the the zero hour show. I mean, at least they wouldn't have done a good rating either because you know once you're out of your time slot. I mean, on a different day, but on a different day, it's already going to be bad, but out of your time slot is all, is going to hurt. But at least it would be more people watching 
on um, TBS, on TNT, I should say, to build to your pay-per-view right afterwards. Like this, it was like they had a really good show. I mean, that, that show on Saturday was really good, but you knew that it was going to be very few people watching. It ended up being a lot less than expected, but still, you knew going in, you know, going against SmackDown is, is, is tough anyway. And the other thing that it shows is that uh, there was a time, um, you know, where, I mean, again, the, 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 the AW audience is definitely very different than it was a couple of years ago and not in a good way. I mean, because before, you know, um, during sports playoffs and everything, you know, they got, you know, Dynamite used to get moved. Um, Rampage would get moved all the time. Um, during during you know playoffs or something big and they were hurt every time they moved of course but nothing like this I mean they would you know like dynamite would move and it would get whatever five six seven hundred thousand viewers um you know rampage would move and it would maybe do you know they would rampage would be in the middle of the afternoon and do 250 thousand viewers let's say you know 0.10 or something and I mean now they're you know you know 100 and whatever. 157,000 viewers and 0.04. That was just, um, you know, but, and the other, the other thing too is, is that so much of their audience now um, is a crossover with WWE, which was not the case before. And also when choosing, most of that audience will choose WWE head to head, which is, it is what it is. You know, it's like, that's just, that's just what it is. Um, and, but, but the key is, is I don't know if like, I think that in a lot of cases, the people just didn't know, you know, like, like before the audience, like the one thing that their audience was very good at is if they got moved, they were so into the product that most of the audience would come with them. Not all, you know, especially the guys, the guy audience would come with them. The women audience, not so much. Um, in this case, you know, that didn't happen. And when SmackDown ended, Rampage was much higher. In fact, the uh, that eight man tag, which was the uh, the Young Bucks, Okada and Jack Perry against um, you know uh, Claudio Castagnoli and uh, Brian Danielson and Wheeler Yuta and Pack, that started. I think do I have the numbers here? It started at about one hundred fifty thousand viewers. It ended at, at about at two ninety four and actually peaked at around three hundred. So it actually doubled and it went from zero point zero four to zero point one zero. I mean, I've never, I cannot recall. I'm sure it exists somewhere. But I can't recall a fight. I can't recall, um, you know, it, it it probably has happened with a fight. But I cannot recall. I could not name you one pro wrestling match ever that doubled viewership from start to finish. And some of that, I mean, it it, went, it was going way up. Even even in the final quarter, it was going way up. You know, it, it had a big, big jump in the final quarter. But still a low number. Um You know, but it was the only thing that, that on, on with AEW that drew all night, you know, it, got up to like 300 which is nothing to brag about or anything like that but it did so um but everything else yeah just uh um didn't draw um the uh rampage was actually slightly up or not even slightly rampage was up from last week's number for whatever it's worth with you know they still had the nfl going against them they still had some college football there's also yeah there was also college football i mean it was just a freaking killer night um they still had the us open going against them um so um rampage did like i don't want to say well but they did a lot better than collision and then uh the countdown show did uh 119,000 viewers in 0 0.04 which is i'm I would suspect is the lowest countdown show they've ever done, but the pay per view seemed to do okay. So there you go. And then, uh, yeah, SmackDown was down. SmackDown was down due to the competition, and now it's going to be down because it's on USA. But it'll probably end up still. I mean, whatever it is, SmackDown's probably going to be this. You know, the consistent number two entertainment show on uh, cable television. I mean, almost for sure. You know, Raw will be number one. SmackDown will be number two until Raw moves to Netflix, and then at that point, SmackDown will be number one. So the question is, is like, you know, where does SmackDown uh, end up? And I think that, you know, week one, you know, obviously they're loading up with Cody and uh, Solo in a cage match um, for the title. So they should, 
in theory do all right, you know, do better than usual. So I would say by week three or four, we'll probably have an idea of like what level SmackDown will do. I mean, it's going to, it'll do well, you know, real, real well. Great for USA. But, you know, it's going to be way down from what they did on Fox. So um, that's the deal there. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.